Hello and welcome back to Kentucky Home Garage. Uh, today uh, I want to show you how to uh, test fuel injectors with a first look sensor or a f uh, pressure pulse sensor. The idea behind this is to uh, uh, pick up the, the uh, pulsation from a uh, fuel pressure regulator, vacuum controlled uh, fuel pressure regulator. This can only be applied on those kind of uh, um, uh, fuel system, so it is return uh, system with a vacuum controlled uh, uh, fuel pressure regulator. So um, uh, every time when a fuel injector opens, uh, the fuel pressure is going to slightly drop in a fuel uh, fuel rail, and that's going to reflect on a diaphragm inside of the fuel pressure regulator. And um, this uh, sensor can uh, pick that up. So what we're going to do, we're going to unplug the vacuum line from our fuel pressure regulator and, uh, and uh, plug in this uh, uh, sensor. And uh, then we're going to look up on the lab scope to see what kind of reading we have. So um, what is the advantage of this kind of testing? Of this, uh, so basically this sensor can... Uh, now we can um, use different kind of... Uh, um, we can we can look at the um, current ramp on the, on the fuel injectors, but the hardest thing is to figure out is actually if the fuel injector is basic is actually spraying the fuel. So um, by adopting this uh, sensor, we can we can pick that up. Uh, so uh, what I what I like to do on, on this kind of testing, I, I I'm going to use a, a snap-on modus lab scope with uh, three channels. Uh, on one channel I'm going to have my current ramp uh, from my uh, fuel injectors uh, because uh, when you look at the signal from this kind of a sensor unless you have, a, unless you sink in, sink in with the uh, current ramp it really doesn't make any sense. The signal just basically makes AC uh, sound wave and uh, by the way this sensor does not require any kind of uh, uh, power, it just makes its own voltage. So if you just look at the signal itself, it's not going to make any sense whatsoever. So we have to sync in with the other channel. Now, I, when, on one channel, I'm going to have my current ramp from my fuel injectors, and on the on the second channel, third channel, I'm going to have a uh, I'm going to back from number one injector, so I can sync in that. Uh, uh, so so I know my my firing order, and if I find the injector that's not spraying the fuel, I can I can pick that up. I can I can figure out what injector is not firing, spraying the fuel. I'm sorry. Uh, now, if um, you know if you have a injector that doesn't spray the fuel, we can uh, just take the screwdriver or or, or stethoscope and just probe each injector and listen for uh, clicking on the injector, and that's a lot easier than doing all this. However, if you have a Fuel, if you have a, a system where injectors are covered with the intake manifold, you cannot physically get to the injectors, so this can this can uh, be beneficial. So uh, the way I uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I'm gonna set everything up and uh, uh, and uh, we're gonna start the engine and see what kind of reading we're gonna have. So um, uh, I'm gonna have a current probe on my. Um, on, uh, to measure my, my current ramp. Uh, now on this engine uh, we have actually two fuses that feeds the fuel injectors and fuel, uh, uh, fuel uh, um, coils, I'm, I'm sorry, injector coils and the fuel, in, uh, fuel injectors and the ignition coils, I'm sorry. Get messed up. So um, in order to get all, all eight of those on, the, on, the, on one channel I have to uh, put these um, uh, um, what's it called, fuse bodies or fuse loops or in the column so uh, I got two of them uh, in each of number one and number two um, um, uh, uh, <coughs> the um, uh, fuse fuse number one number two so um, now I'm going to be able to pick up both um, both circuits to see all eight uh, injectors on my on my current ramp from my from my injectors uh, now uh, got my uh, Here's my, my uh, fuel pressure uh, regulator. I got my um, um, vacuum line disconnected and I'm going to connect my uh, first look sensor to my uh, fuel pressure regulator here. All right. So um, And also I have my number one injector back probe so that's going to be my uh, channel, my green channel I believe. And also now on my, uh, on my lab scope um, I'm going to trigger of the of my uh, uh, number one uh, injector. Now the uh, 
let me see now the channel one it's uh, yellow and that is going to be my uh, first look sensor I, I have a uh, uh, let's see here channel one is uh, AC coupling able because it's uh, it's going to give us an AC uh, sound wave and I have it at uh, 500 millivolts my time base is 200 milliseconds now in my uh, channel uh, 2 is my green channel and that's going to be you see that's going to be my uh, uh, number one fuel injector and the blue channel is going to be the current ramp now on the on the on the let's see on my uh, on my green channel I have a 50 volts DC setting because we're going to basically looking at the um, uh, injector control and uh, uh, let's see here oh my goodness I messed it up I'm sorry guys and uh, so that's going to be number channel 2 and uh, channel 3 is my current ramp I have a 500 millivolts with again 200 milliseconds uh, time base so uh, let's get it let's start the engine and see what kind of reading we're going to have okay so first I'm going to I'm going to See, I'm gonna just leave the uh, yellow yellow channel, which is a first look sensor, and I want you to guys see what what we're gonna have. And uh, let's see what I'm doing here. And, uh, and I'll, I'm just gonna leave the um, uh, first look sensor, and uh, just to see what kind of signal we're gonna have, and if, if we can see anything there so if it doesn't make any sense or not so as you can see it's a sound wave um, pretty much a fast signal going up and down and uh, honestly by looking at this uh, we really can't we cannot see anything at all so now I'm gonna get my uh, uh, channel uh, see channel 2 I'm going to get my okay so now I'm triggering off the channel number 2 which is my number 1 uh, fuel injector now we can see there is a uh, peak over here when the injector fires uh, but I guess we can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, and uh, it's now at this point we, we can get some some information from this I can I can unplug one of the injectors and see what kind of a difference what's going to happen to this signal here and well, now we can see that there uh, we see a flat line here which tells us they want an injector it's not it's not uh, spraying the fuel but uh, now I'm going to bring it a third channel with my uh, current ramp and we're really making that it's going to help us a lot now here we go so now we have a ch uh, injector number one and we have a current ramp on, on a one two three four five six seven eight fuel injectors uh, I'm going to move this trigger slightly to the left to get better there you go so now we got a one two three four five six seven eight now the uh, these are my fuel injectors the one on the top these are in bishop coil so we don't we can discard there we don't have to worry about it but now the idea is just to look at the yellow trace and we can see that every time injector fires we have this uh, this peak on our uh, first look sensor. Now uh, this can be used to figure out if uh, if our fuel injectors are spraying fuel or not. Now this makes sense. So let me unplug one of the fuel injectors and now uh, the my firing order is uh, got a one eight seven uh, two six five four and three. So uh, I'm gonna unplug uh, injector number four and uh, now of course at that point we, I'm going to lose one of the uh, current ramps but uh, if I have a uh, 
injector that has a you know the fires electrically but it's not spraying the fuel then I will be able to see that on my first look sensor so let's unplug the injector now and now we can see of course my current is gone but when I uh, when I to figure out what injector is not spraying the fuel I'm going one eight seven uh, two six five and then four now we can see the number four is is not spraying the fuel so uh, I'm going to break in. So I believe this can be used. And now, whether the uh, this sensor can pick up the fuel injector that's partially clogged up, that does not spray enough fuel, I'm not sure. But uh, if we have a injector that's uh, you know stuck closed, I think this can can be valuable uh, task to. Uh, to be done to it, and at the same time we can we can look at the current ramp. We can see if uh, if there are any problem with our um, you know if if all the injectors are uh, firing, if the computer is able to control injectors. So there's a lot of information we can actually get from this from this capture here. So uh, I think uh, I think this can be used. So uh, well, this is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you find it informative. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.